Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install ComputerCraft for 1.4.7. So, um, if you guys go to the link in the description, there will be a link in the bottom of this video. Um, so, um, it'll bring you right to the Minecraft forum, and this is the ComputerCraft website. So, you guys can uh, read more about this mod, um, what it all has to offer, because... Guys, this is more of like a Java programming and like programming into the computers, into the Minecraft. And I have absolutely no idea how to run any of that or do any of it. But um, but yeah, th this is the, the um, Minecraft forum. So you guys can go here. You guys can read all about it on your own. Um, this I'm just going to be showing you guys how to install this mod. I just wanted to show you kind of basically um, just a little bit what you could do in the, um, do in the actual mod. So I just wanted to give you guys a little kind of a hint um, as to what you guys were would be dealing with with this mod so basically a lot of it is a uh, um, job of programming programming things into your minecraft so i mean i have seen videos to where you programmed the computer like into a uh, door lock i have seen that um it was actually a long time ago that i had seen that video so um so you guys i'm i'm actually making this uh Making this mod, mod uh, actually it's not really a mod review, but mod uh, how to install this mod for somebody that asked me to. So, um, if you guys have your own mods that you want installed, then just leave me uh, comments in the com comments section, and I will um, look your mods up and see if I can install them myself and show you guys how to do it. So, um, so first thing you're going to want to do is you want to download the current version for this is for 1.4.7 or for 1.1 or 4.6. So. If you guys download this mod right here, just click on Media Fire. This is working in 1.4.7. Also, guys, um, let's quick go to Forge. Uh, Minecraft Forge is required for this mod. Um, so let's go to Forge. Actually, it's not really required, but um, actually, yes, it is. That was a different mod. Sorry, it is required for this um, for this mod. So you need to download Minecraft Forge, and the link that I will have in the description will take you right to here click on it um, it will take you straight to this website that I'm gonna click on right now this is Forge um, for 1.4.7 so you, this will this you know, the link that I will have in the description will bring you right to here so you guys can download the universal version so add fly or direct uh, either either of those will work so once you guys have Minecraft Forge and ComputerCraft on your desktop you guys are ready to install this mod so um, what we're gonna want to do is we want to open Minecraft you're going to go to options, force update, click done, and log in. Make sure you guys force update your Minecraft because if you guys have mods installed, then uh, this will get rid of those mods and um, basically give you clean Minecraft.jar. So we're always going to want to make sure you guys up force update your thing or you might get a black screen. If you're getting a black screen, it's probably because you had mods installed. So you guys make sure you follow my directions. Um, if you guys are worried about having black screen into this, make sure you guys back up your files. As you can see here, I have a... Uh, copied version of minecraft right here so if this mod doesn't work i will always be able to put my my actual version of minecraft or my my uh, current version um back in so uh if once you have force updated and you guys are ready to start this so if you guys look here at the bottom um you'll see percent app out of percent and uh, we're going to want to go to start and type in start percent a p p d a t a that's percent app data and percent so you click on the roaming folder and you also see this uh, at the very top and we'll maximize this you'll see this minecraft folder right here so it's open minecraft and you will see bin resources and saves and uh, other things here so you want to click on bin and you'll see this minecraft so this will be an executable jar file and if you try to open it it will say error so we're going to want to right click on this and open this with winrar so that's the only way we can open it um, also, 7-Zip works, but I will be showing you guys how to do it with WinRAR. So if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install WinRAR. So, um, you see this meta-inf file right here. We want to click on that, um, and you want to delete files with meta-inf. Alright, so once meta-inf is deleted, you guys... Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's a black... Uh, black... Well, where am I? Okay, so once my inf is deleted, then we want to move Minecraft uh, the dot jar that you opened from on this side, and you guys are ready to open Minecraft Forge. So once Minecraft Forge is opened, you want to move that to the side, and you'll see all these files. You'll see meta inf here also, but you do not want to delete meta inf in Forge. So then you want to select all. So you just right click and select all. You want to drag all these files into the Minecraft dot jar that you opened with WinRAR. Then you push OK. Now we'll replace files, and you can see. Um, files have been added so 
you guys are done with Minecraft Forge, so you guys can click out of that. And you guys are also done with the Minecraft Dot Draw the Open Lunar, so you guys can click out of that. Um, you will see back with uh, where you open Minecraft. Um, so you just click back one, and you'll see the bean resources and saves again. Um, if you guys have already exited out of this and you guys need help finding it, just go to the percent after that percent, click on roaming, and click on Minecraft. See, as you can see on the top here, it says Minecraft. Okay, so then you'll be in the bin resources and saves. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click and you want to new and folder and call it MODS. And that will be um, the mods folder, all under caps, just mods. And you want to open this mods folder and you want to drag in computer craft right into the mods folder. So we are done and we are ready to open Minecraft. So guys, um, if you guys are getting a black screen, it's probably because you had mods installed. So you guys want to make sure you guys always force update your game. And follow these directions that I did very carefully. Um, if you guys are having a black screen, make sure you guys just redo this video. And uh, like I said, guys, always make sure you guys keep a copied version of Minecraft. So just back up your saves. That's always a good thing to do. So if you go into the mods folder, you can see ComputerCraft is loaded and it will work into your Minecraft. So let's just quick. Um, I've actually never, never installed ComputerCraft just because I've seen videos. And uh, so I've never even actually been in the game. So... So yeah, this is this is brand new for me too. Uh, first time I've ever seen uh, computer graphs. So let's first go to our options, video settings, uh, turn that to fast, and turn that to tiny. And okay, so we're ready to go. Um, normally, guys, I do have Optifine installed. I don't. I don't have any idea why. I just I didn't install Optifine in this one. So um, what Optifine does is it reduces lag in my Minecraft game, and I always usually install that, but I didn't for this mod. Um, so anyway guys, I just wanted to show you this is computer craft and you can, as you can see it adds in a lot of items into your game. So um, thanks guys for watching. Hope you, hopefully you guys uh, didn't have any problems. Make sure you guys give a like in the bottom. Click like and also um, if this did help you, make sure you're subscribed. I do a lot of mod installations on my channel.